Hi right, guys, today we are uh, just unboxing Android TV box and setup, first setup with the TV, how it will go. This is H96 Max, advertised as 8K Ultra HD on uh, AliExpress.com the processor chip is RK3528 with the Android 13 so what does it say Android 13 TV box this is SKU number and code item H96 H96 max okay if like um, I just bought it for twenty dollars only like it will work for a year or two whatever like time it will work it is okay it's just twenty dollars if it it works for one year is good maybe after one year we will get android 14 we can upgrade with the new one but if stops working you want to reflash it then look for the firmware h96 max android tv box for android 13 or the firmware for rocker chip 3528 RK 3528 chip firmware for Android 13 reflash it it will work work fine so let's get started what I got here they were advertising 2 GB RAM and 16 GB storage and 4 GB RAM and 32 GB storage I bought the cheapest one 2 GB RAM with the 16 GB storage this is the box okay what we have here same number H96 Max M1 CPU RK3528 Android 13 RAM 2 GB and ROM 16 GB this is front end for like display and remote control It has only one USB, one HDMI, and power plug. This is audio output, and this is power plug. But it is not like not provided by Ethernet port. <laughs> Just one USB and HDMI port. Uh, it's, it's just twenty dollars. It will work fine. Hopefully. This is power adapter. This is US Canada power adapter and this is 100 to 240 volt so you can use it wherever which in like what countries they are using 240 volt so this is good for 100 to 240 volt HDMI cable remote control
What is it? Nothing. And we, here we have user manual. Uh, let's get start connecting with the TV. And set up like as a new device connected to the TV. Uh, it shows here Wi-Fi setting. The main display look like this. And the back end where it says apps, my apps, something like that. Let's get connected. I connected the HDMI cable here. This is power plug. And it's turning on. Now put the battery into the remote control. Turning on. Okay, Android 13 rocket chip. Oh, 8K. H96. Max. Okay, here we have set up language next it's already selected english screen zoom next is fine wi-fi ah, it has only 2.4 gig one no it has this is my 5 gig one and this is 2.4 gig one uh, so it has both 2.4 gig and 5 gig Wi-Fi let's connect with this one here so Wi-Fi is connecting it's connected press next You want this one is main screen, yes. Remote control, we use, we use it. I'm using confirm. This is all set. And let's go to the setting, check the system. device preference remote control general setting okay that's it and this is the place you want to add more apps select it unselect or what i want to add on the main screen is browser and this is apk pure to install more apps for free or paid Select it and Netflix. Okay, now press the back button and these apps are added in the main screen. And that's all. Thank you for watching.
If you like my uh, YouTube channel, please subscribe. Thank you. I just installed and sign in YouTube and this is the result. It's not bad. That's it. Try again. YouTube. Which allows for a strong steel. Yeah. Plan. And we delivered on towing, a load, and off road capability like you'd expect. But we also made it. Let's check the system setting and change the, if you want to change the time zone or anything else. Go to the setting here. This is quick setting and this is general setting. In under general setting, go to device preference, display, HDMI, go back about this Android box. Let's say H96 Max M1 factory reset if you want to reset like the whole setting to factory setting then press this one status and here it, it does say Android 13 go back time and date I want to change the time zone so let's go to the time zone New York one I think it's going other way New York or Eastern time zone this is central so I want to set it to Eastern time zone this is Eastern equal to New York draw I want to set it and go back so go back try again let's see what it, it does have yeah this is restart if, if you want to restart setting what what is in advanced setting default launchers nothing else go back back and home screen that's it